this I've been hearing being screamed from the top of every institution I can probably think of that women do not want to come to your house, Negroes, to hang out. So this is the most clear that I've ever heard it. And this is for y'all. Dear men, we don't want to come over. We do not want to, no, no, we don't. Mm -mm. That is not, no, sorry. Do you have a fucking game for me to play? Do you have a fucking, do you have some Uno cards so I can bust your ass and some Uno Pablo? Do you have a deck of cards where I can smash your ass in some space? Cause I just fucking learned. Do you have uh, some Jenga? Do you have anything for me to do when the fuck I get over there? You want me to leave my peace of mind? My house, it's lit, I got the hookah. Y'all ass talk like a nigga. You move like a nigga. Y'all live like niggas, bro. Y'all smoke hookah, use the bro on God. And you shouldn't feel no type of way when I treat you like the bro. The fuck, twin? It's a vibe, I got the lights, the LED lights that turn different colors and shit. And if I'm feeling frisky, I can fucking flick them bitches if I like. Come over and do what? You wanna fuck? Cool! Say that! <laughs> Say, listen, I ain't trying to go on no dates. I'm not trying to take it there. I'm just trying to fuck. Cool! This is my coochie. I'm gonna call you when your name come up in the queue, okay? <laughs> Whenever I'm ready to get some meat, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna treat you as such. If you just wanted to be, if you just want to hit, why you just ain't say that, my boy? I could have stayed in the house. I could have stayed in the house. I'll call you when I'm ready to hit, when I'm ready to get hit, okay? But no, we don't want to come over your fucking house. He sounds mad and on, bro. I'm trying to understand what what's the premise. Like she said, if a dude wants you to come up, want you to come over, and just to hit, say that. But if you're trying to have fun or something like that, what we doing? You got some entertainment of some value there? Because if not, I might as well stay at my house, which I say, let me come over to your house then. But of course, you don't want that because then you'll feel some type of way because you want to be dominated somehow and you want to feel like a woman. So, okay, that's cool, right? But then she said, hey, if you want to just hit, just say that so she can throw you in the queue the Q that y'all don't call it, and that's what I'm that y'all say y'all don't have. I'm gonna start calling it that too. This niggas in the Q. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. He said, when your number come up and she wanna get some meat, guess what? Just like DMV, D34, window six, G34, window six. That's when you get up and you walk to the window. That's what she's saying. So hey, I can't knock her for that. She is kind of annoying because it comes off a little masculine to me because when she accidentally said when she want to hit or get hit. I'll call you when I'm ready to hit. You know, and doing the little hat thing, you know. But I understand. Niggas done kind of molded women into that. So it's a little masculinity in there. But I got to agree with her. And I ain't got no smoke with her. And speaking of not having smoke, go subscribe to the EBH Reacts Got Smoke Show. And this has yeah. been an EBH Productions. <laughs> so what do you think, Clarissa, about what she said? I agree. If if that's all you want to do is hit, tell me that. Tell me that so I can make sure I'm properly prepared if I do want to come over. How often does that really work, though? I mean, I, I know it do work, though. I know it works, but I'm just saying, like, for the average man watching this, calling the girl and be like, you know what? I'm talking about after a couple of times talking to her on the phone and be like, hey, you know what? Can you come over? You want to come over? I'm trying to hit something. Or I got a ticket for two at the Pound Town Stadium. <laughs> it works. I would prefer that. Okay. Instead of you saying, just come over like so we can hang out and chill or whatever. What's whatever? What, okay, what else I'm about to do? try that with 10 different women and see how many times that works. Yeah. yeah I, I would prefer, if, if we've been talking, yeah, just, just let me, if, now hold up, I done had the already came to your house before, not on no pound First town. time. First time. I'm talking about y'all just met. Oh, 
nah. For me, that wouldn't work. So I, but I do know some girls that that's about that life. But um, for me, yeah, nah. The first time, and you tell me, yeah, I wanna, I wanna snap, nah. Cause I don't feel like you ain't got no respect for me. So why would she say just say that? Well, she's saying just say that so you can show her your cards and she know how to play them. Right, I know how to maneuver. Cause she might want to smack some too. Right. Depends on where you are in the queue. Because when you go to DMV, sometimes the line is shorter for some things than it is for mm-hmm. others. So Carissa, you don't be a 50 50 sometime with y'all? Because I know I know that y'all be sizing dudes up. Y'all be like, yeah. I give it to him. You know what I'm saying? So, so it don't ever be like the first night y'all meet, you know what I'm saying, in person or whatever. Like, dang, you know what I'm saying? He look good. I yeah, sure let him got doggone jump my bones or whatever. It's the first night, right? It, it ain't it ain't never a time where like, well, if it go right, if if, if, if if the night going a certain way, it might go down because you know what I'm saying, y'all know if y'all gonna if 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 y'all can see, you know, saying sex with a guy or not, right? So that's you know saying that that's my thing, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it, it ain't it ain't about, you know what I'm saying, not having respect. Sometimes people just have that kind of chemistry, you know what I'm saying, right off the you know what I'm saying right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? So to me, I'm I'm not saying this is something I would that I shoot for or whatever like that, but you know, if we if we had that kind of chemistry then you know, it 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 is you know what I'm saying it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? At that, you know what I'm saying, at that at that point, you know what I'm saying, in in, in my eyes. Mm-mm, I wanna get it. Get it That's what I'm saying. It, like if it. you say you meet a dude and you know within the first few minutes or seconds that you would give it to him or not, and y'all have a good conversation, and y'all go on a date and then uh, the next morning or the next day, he like, hey, you want to come chill at the crib? I want to, I, I want to have a, uh, a, a romantic evening. You don't think that's 50-50? Yeah. Yeah. So the moral to the story is just be, I don't agree with that, but y'all, y'all keep saying, just tell us. I say y'all just want us to tell y'all so that way that we uh show us y'all car uh, show y'all our cars and then y'all know how to play them versus the men playing the cars and then she fall to your beck and call <laughs> right tell me so i i i don't want to say it like this but ugh. you already know for you might as well go girl tell me so i know how to manipulate you or i know how to play you Basically. Yeah, I definitely saying that. <laughs> because I know from the time that I gave you my number whether or not I was gonna sleep with you. It just really depends on when. And if he says yep. something to mess it up or not. That's right. It. Mm-hmm. That's it. Not listen, every man just can't be like Damn. That kind of contradicts what I just said. With just tell us the truth, because every man can't just be like, "Come on, I want to have sex." No, that's what I'm saying. That <laughs> telling telling a woman that straight up ain't that ain't the way to go. Like she's saying, like I get the whole honesty thing, and you would probably get more of honesty, but no, no. Yeah, you gotta know how to. Honestly, Honesty ain't sweet. You gotta make it sweet. I know somebody right now that got the most slickest tongue and will literally tell you what you wanna hear. It'd be so crazy that I'd be like, ain't no way that she gonna run right downhill for that every time. And no lie, and I ain't talking about one, I ain't talking about 10. I'm talking more like a honey, yeah. at least. This one person. Some people got it. Based on just telling you what you want to hear, not the truth. They call it what they call it, gift of gab. The gift of gab. Dang. 
Oh, no, nah, that's a boy right there. That's a who? A fuck boy. 